with another anime review and I just got finished watching Ah Harimon Harimonida. I hope I said that right. But this is a like an anime that jumped I like randomly found it and it's in my top ten now for sure. Maybe my top five. And it's the synopsis before I get into any spoilers, so I'm gonna give you a synopsis because I am gonna spoil some things. But I'll let you know before I do it, so you're not, if you don't want any spoilers, you'll know when to stop. Because I'm going to talk about some of my favorite things, maybe to convince you to watch the show, because it's really well done. It's old, it's an older anime, it's like from 1993, but it was really, really good. And it's a sumo anime, and it's about a character who just became a Yokozuna, and he is coming into the ring for the first time as a Yokozuna. And he wears a mask, like that breathes fire and everything. And everybody's freaking out because sumo is like this super traditional sport. And he makes this like huge declaration that he's going to beat uh, the best undefeated record in, uh, in sumo wrestling ever in this anime, which is 69 wins. So that's where the story is. It's like if he doesn't beat it, he says he's going to retire. So something that's interesting about this anime is... That when they're telling you about his record before he becomes a Yokozuna, he was not undefeated. He lost a couple times. But the anime really shows his like strength and determination. And it really seems like how maybe becoming the Yokozuna changed his mindset and made him a better sumo wrestler overall. And his like determination. And he is literally one of the, like, the manliest characters in anime history. <laughs> and... That, like one of the taglines for the anime when it opens up is an anime that will get make you stronger by watching it and it's believable i i, I felt stronger i was like yeah <laughs> this anime is awesome <laughs> i want to do sumo now but i'm too little uh but yeah it was it was amazing so now to get into some spoilers about the things the show does really well parts that i really enjoyed so because of harimon harimonida I can't say his name. Everybody calls him Harima, so I'm guessing that's his name. The anime is just called Ah Harimonida. But Harima, like, the thing he does to, so, like, attest the, the association by, like, wearing the mask, because nobody wants him to wear the mask, and he says he's doing it to hype, which is believable, but he never drops, like, you know how fighters in, like, any sport, MMA, boxing, or whatever, they always, like, try to sell the fight. They try to be, like, somebody that's going to catch interest to get people to watch it. That's what Harima is doing. But his isn't a facade. At first, when I was watching it, I thought it was a facade, but you really find out that's how his character is. Like, he wants to look tough, he wants to be a badass, and he is a badass. And he never, like, he never shows softness. He never acts soft, ever. He does good things, though. He does do things that are really nice, but he never does anything that's soft in the anime, ever. He is, like, one of the toughest characters. And there's some points where I'm thinking like, oh, he's going to be like, oh, this was a good challenge, blah, 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 blah. Give somebody some respect. He kind of does it once. And that wasn't even his hardest match. So he just like, does not give anybody respect. The only reason he gave the guy respect was because he hurt him. And it just, that was like why he gave him respect. Because he's like, oh, you're so strong. You actually hurt me. But so some things that he does because of his disobedience for the association, they actually had a character that got banned from the sport by the association for also this is spoilers i think i already said it but just to make sure i said spoilers are coming not all the spoilers i'm not gonna reveal the end or anything like that but my favorite part of some of my parts that i really liked that made the anime a little bit unique but because everybody like hates him and they think he's ruining japan's national sport and everybody's mad at him and they're like oh you're a scumbag you're ruining sumo wrestling for everybody so they banned a wrestler for protecting a woman because the uh, Yakuza was chasing her and he ends up fighting them. And that gives sumo wrestling a bad image because he's fighting people and he's fighting the Yakuza. So they ban him. But then later, they're trying to find somebody to beat Harima. They're like That's their goal. They want somebody to beat Harima so he'll retire and stop wearing the mask because the mask is the main thing. And... They take away the ban on the guy who actually did a good thing. Like, he defended that woman for, from Yakuza. And Harma destroys him. And you think, like, Harma would treat people that are, like, 
good people a little bit differently, but no, he beats the crap out of them. Like he will defeat them like the worst way and then he'll kind of mock them when he wins. But at the same time, he gives them a lesson. And like one of the things that happens because he's mocking these people is they become better sumo wrestlers. They have determination. They want to defeat Harma and they actually get stronger. So he like overall, he's doing good things for sumo. Like he's getting more people interested. The younger crowd's getting interested, which they show a lot. And then there's one part, one of my favorite parts, is there was a woman, and she's blind, and right after she lost her eyesight, her husband dies. And then right after her husband dies, her son and his kids die driving to see her. So she has like one lady that's taking care of her. I don't think she's related. I think all her relatives pretty much died. So she's like traumatized. But she's listening to the radio and then she hears about Harma's wrestling match and she's like, I want to see this. This is something that's unique and I want to go see it, even though she can't see. And that's what the like girl says. She's like, but you can't see. And she's like, I just want to go. So the lady takes her because she's actually a really good person, cares about the old lady. And basically they get separated because the girl with the gla that's taking care of the old lady thinks she sees Har Harma and she's like, oh, there's Harma. And then the crowd just goes crazy and it splits them up. And the old lady... It's like lost and she's bumping into people and everybody's being a jerk to her and they like pushing her off and stuff. But then she finds her way out to the ring, like where Harma's supposed to walk in with his mask and everything. And like the people are like, oh, you can't come in here, blah, 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 blah. And then she bumps into Harma and he's like, old oh, lady, what are you doing here? You don't, you don't seem to be able to see her or whatnot. And she's like, oh, I just came to see Harma. And she's, he's like, He's like, you have a good taste. <laughs> and then he picks her up and he takes her to the sumo ring and puts her down in it. And everybody's like, you can't do that. There's no women in the sumo ring. You, this is like, you're destroying our tradition even more. And he doesn't care. So he puts her in the sumo ring and then uh, everybody's freaking out and they're mad. But she's like in awe that she got to experience this. And then he throws, him out, throws her out to like a trainer or whatnot. And the trainer's like, what are you doing? Don't you respect the elders? And he's like, yes, I do. They're the treasure of our, our nation. And then he was like, when he threw her, he's like, show her to her seat. And then she becomes a fan of Harma. And she's like cheering for him to do everything, which was awesome. I thought that was like a super touching thing. And something about this show is it does a very good job at always making the matches. All the matches are very intense. Like, well, not all of them. Actually, that's one of the things it does, guys, that they're not all intense, but there are matches throughout the whole anime that are intense. But, like, it shows that there are levels to it. Like, there are people that Harma goes against that he just freaking mollywops. And that's how it should be, because there's not always somebody that's going to be a challenge for somebody. Like, he might mollywop one guy in the episode and then have, like, an actual challenge later on in the episode. Some of these, like, he'll sometimes do, like, two matches an episode because sumo matches are quick and it has like a tournament setting which is really cool it does a couple tournaments and the characters are all unique and i actually learned a lot about sumo by watching this this is i love this so much more than hinamar zuma because one the characters are better the characters are better it's not super generic and it's so good like the characters stay true to themselves and the like actual sumo techniques make sense and it's not like super hype there's no eyeball juice leaking out because they're hitting the zone or something it's freaking awesome and then another thing that was one of my favorite parts of the whole anime was the marriage arc oh my god that was so good i'm not gonna spoil anything about it but there is a marriage arc between harma and somebody else and it's handled wonderfully i thought that was awesome you don't see that in anime who gets married in anime the only one i can really think of off the top of my head is bakuman and that really just happens at the end it's kind of glossed over this is an arc in the middle of the anime about him getting married and it's great it is awesome i love it and they handle it very uniquely and it shows a lot about japanese culture and how they treat things they don't like change they don't like people being this radically individual person but Haruma is. He is a very individualized person, which is looked up, down upon by Japanese culture. And you learn a lot about, you just learn a lot of things in general. The matches are awesome. And one of the things is, is you learn more about uh, sumo wrestling because when Haruma goes against somebody, they'll have like a special technique or they'll have something they're really good at. And usually Haruma will like try to overcome it. He won't just try to like beat them. He will try to beat them at their game, usually. Sometimes not. Sometimes he'll actually just embarrass them. 
and some of the ways he wins are just awesome and he has like some feats that are great like one time like some chuck norris like feet you know how sumo wrestlers have that stomp where they stick their legs straight up in there and then they drop it down and it like makes a huge boom. well his mom gets sick and he goes to visit her this is another good part and she's sick and she's like oh you're bringing dishonor to us blah 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 blah, blah. and he's like no i'm just he doesn't really even justify himself but he does a stomp and he's like <laughs> races the sickness ghost from her <laughs> and he does a lot of great he does a lot of crazy stuff like that parma is like really op but he's one of those characters and he has a very good point i really enjoyed it like this is one of the things i kind of i kind of think i knew but i didn't have anyone explain it to it to the way he puts it like the words he put it in is that luck favors the strong especially in wrestling sumo wrestling in this case but the thing is he's like i can't lose because of luck because i am so much stronger than anyone that there is nothing unlucky that can happen to me luck is on my side because i'm the only one that is like capable of having it because i'm that much stronger than everybody else and he proves it and it's awesome it's such a good anime so if you haven't checked it out i would check it out you might not like it because of the older animation style if you like the older animation style which i do You'll like it. It's got like the fist North Star kind of animation, Sakigaki Otokojuku kind of stuff, like 80s, 90s animation. But it's good. It's really good. The story is great. It's unique. It's something that's different. If you're kind of tired out of watching the same generic harem, dumb stuff that just gets crapped out every season, this is a good one. It's like a nice, fresh breath of air, and the story's really great. I really enjoyed it. So thanks for watching as always. If you could, please like and subscribe. Bye.